So I'm back with another video and I think this one's going to be a little short video but I think the message today is going to be very powerful. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one and I know a lot of girls like me, uh, younger or older, just I know like really need this message and I think it's very important for girls like me in today's day and age. So I hope you keep watching and I'm excited for this video. So I know a lot of girls like me or anyone my age, boys and girls, all of us like to idolize and find our identity and try to be accepted by many toxic things like social media or friends or boys or whatever. There's so many things and we all have that one thing that is really hard for us to stay away from and we just always want to go for that go to that for acceptance and to try to find our identity in it if you know what i'm saying i know a lot of it looks happier and it looks like it'll fulfill us like whenever we go to it and it just seems like it'll make us feel accepted and it'll make us feel wanted and it'll make us feel like we have a purpose instead of going to god and is that really true will all of that stuff fulfill us and make us feel like we have a purpose and an identity more than what God would show us. Yeah, that other stuff, social media, all of that would give us a short-term satisfaction, but that leads leads to long-term devastate devastation. Um, which really means, yes, it seems happy. It'll make you happy for like however long, but in the long term, that is ruining and wasting your time away from God. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. He wants us to spend as much time in his stuff and he wants us to be away and distracted from God as much as we can. And God is just over here ready to give us as much joy and happiness and we can find our true purpose and identity and every single thing in God and it's literally one step away and we can turn our backs from whatever toxic 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 stuff and go straight to God and for me I know from both ends from going to all of those things and then going to God I know that God gives me so much more. I know I have a purpose because I have God. I know that my purpose is to be a light and to just spread his love and be that joy that someone needs. Be that good and happy friend that everybody wants. And I just know that with God, I can do anything. And truly, it could seem like, oh, I'm just saying that so people would go read their Bible. No, I'm being 100% with you. I'm being truly super honest. Like, I just, whenever I went to God, it was like so easy. All I did was simply create a relationship with Him, even though I already did have a relationship with Him. I mean, a stronger and deeper, like heart to heart connection with Him and pray a lot more and depend on Him more and truly do everything through love and through him because God is love and that is the best decision I have ever made is to truly put my whole self into him and know that whatever I do is for him let me give a couple examples so maybe you are sad one day maybe your friend said something rude to you or someone in the hallway just made a mean suggestion to you or whatever you and you go straight to social media you go straight to TikTok and just scroll through and yes it may distract you from those people and it may relieve your pain for i don't know it'll just distract you from your pain but then after you go back to school the next day and they do it again you go on TikTok again that night and it just repeats over and over and over again every single day when with god let's say someone did make a mean comment about you and it really hurts you. And then whenever you get home that day, you go in your Bible and you go to prayer and it may not be the next day that it'll be resolved and you will feel better, but I promise you 100% that you will know that if that person made that rude comment again, it wouldn't matter because 
you know that God thinks you're beautiful you know that God knows you have a purpose and because you do with God and I couldn't stress this enough that like it's just so much easier with him and it's so much better so let me ask you a few questions what do you think God thinks of you as do you think he thinks of you as a very good and faithful servant and he knows you have a strong relationship with him or do you think he thinks of you as oh she's she's okay I mean she's good she's not really serving for me or being a perfect light and she's not being she's not having the best attitude but I mean she's okay like what do you think he thinks about you right now and if someone let's say someone mentioned your name they're like oh I was doing this with Kaylee the other day and they're like oh who's Kaylee what would that person say would they say oh she is such a good friend and she is always so happy and she really has a good faith with God and it seems so interesting and I really want to have that faith with God or are they gonna say oh uh, I mean she's kind of rude but I mean she's okay she's really popular and she like she has a lot of followers on Instagram and stuff so I think she's cool like what do you really like do you which one do you really want to be known as and yes, other people's opinions don't matter, but in that situation, don't you want them to think of you as a lot happier and just a better friend than that other girl? I think so. So to change and to change your attitudes and your perspective about God and to really find your identity through Christ, just simply spend a certain amount of time of your day at a specific time of your day to just Put away your phone, put it in another room or something, and just simply read the Bible. If you don't have a Bible, get the Bible app. It's free, and it's a really good resource. And if you do have a Bible, I'd suggest using that over your phone just so you're not distracted from the notifications and stuff. Yeah, just start. If you don't know where to start, start in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then you can go to Genesis or Revelation or whatever. Psalms is good, uh, Romans is good, First Peter is good. I read that and it's very short, it's only five chapters, but First Peter is really good. Even if you are a Christian and you're looking for a new um, book to read, I recommend First Peter. And then after you create a stronger relationship with him and as you're creating that relationship with him, really, whenever you're doing things and whenever you're at school or in your sport or on social media or whatever, really think about God. Would this please God and would this make him happy? Am I doing this for a purpose through God? Am I doing this to make him happy? And I'm do am I doing this to glorify God? Or am I doing this to make me feel better and make the people around me feel better and, and make the people around me feel like I'm amazing and try to be the most popular when I want to be the most popular in God's eyes. I want him, I want me to really stand out in his kingdom and I really want him to think that, wow, she is awesome. She has done so many things for my kingdom. She is, she has a strong relationship with me. We are very connected and she's going to get lots of rewards when she comes to heaven. That's what I want. And I know that's what y'all want to deep inside. And so just make the change now. And I know you can. I believe in you. Um, and really share this with your friends because I know a lot of girls my age and or boys, just whoever needs this right now, send this to at least one of your friends to really give them encouragement because I think that's what we all need. Um, and yeah, I really hope you liked it. Please subscribe for more videos like this and like this video too. So thank you. Bye.